one of the few shows that I tape regularly. I, I've, been, I've been taping the uh, Tonight Show, the David Letterman Show, because uh, they've had magic on this week, and I kind of like magic. But man, I just I don't think it's funny. Uh, you know, it's just very little I find funny on there. But on that Stephen Colbert show, just about everything he does is, just breaks me up. But uh, last night he actually had an astronaut on from the uh, International Space Station, and he was you know talking with this guy in space, which is you know so odd because normally those guys have a regular program up in space where they talk to school kids around the world you know as they're flying over some country they'll talk to them by uh, radio but it was just so odd that somehow the Stephen Colbert show was able to get NASA to uh, allow him to talk with an astronaut um, on uh, on the International uh, Space uh, Station so, so I, was, I just wanted to play that thing because I thought it was really uh, pretty weird. Galactic. <laughs> okay. I can't believe my voice is being broadcast to space right now. I should say something really profound. Eat it, John Stewart. I'm talking to space. Now, um... <laughs> Well, sir, uh, what is your job up on the space station? On the space station, I'm uh, flight engineer number two, uh, which basically, basically means I uh, do whatever they need me to do. Uh, we spend a lot of time keeping the place uh, running, keeping it in shape, and uh, doing some scientific experiments and uh, a bunch of other stuff. Are you saying that you're a janitor with a PhD? <laughs> It's uh, a bit of a glorified gender, yeah, and that's probably a pretty good description. I do a lot of cleaning. You you run the robot arm, correct? Correct. That's another one of my duties. In fact, uh, right after we finish uh, this interview today, I'm taking the robot out for a little spin. When you control the robot arm, will you be using the hand that is wearing the wrist strong bracelet by any chance? Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, the uh, wrist uh, is very important to us up here in space. We do use it to control the robot arm. The wrist comes in handy for landing the space shuttle and also for firing our laser cannons. So it's it's purely practical at this point. Uh, absolutely. Now, uh, can we prove to people that that you're in space right now? Would you please take off your wrist strong bracelet <laughs> and and spin it in that astronaut way? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> now, sir, I oh I can die and go to heaven now. I heard that you uh, in space, no one can hear you scream. Would, would, would you test that for me right now? Could, could you scream for us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Stephen, I'd be happy to. <laughs> it's true! It's true! No one can hear you scream! I gotta say, uh, laughing in space looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> you can literally do a flip from laughter up there. But I'll take your cue, sure. <laughs> oh, too much. That should be an Olympic event. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. Now, uh, sir, um, have you done a spacewalk? I have. Uh, it was actually right when I first got here, I did a spacewalk, and it was to install uh, the new Japanese laboratory module and also the new robot we got from Canada. And uh, that was uh, by far and away the most exciting and also the most challenging moment of my whole mission so far. Now, you make a very good point. There are uh, people of other nationalities on this international space station. Um, there are Russians with you, correct? That's correct. Uh, I have two Russian crewmen. They're both uh, way back on the other side of the space station uh, working, uh, working away as we speak. 
is there any way you could keep the space race against the Russians going? Like, could you guys engage in a thumb war or anything to just to crush those commies? Well, uh, let's see. Um, I don't know. At a thumb war, my, my their commander Sergey, he's, he's got a pretty good grip. So I don't know if we'll do so well in that. Uh, and uh, you know, as far as a basketball competition, I'm only about five foot five. Or, uh, actually, five foot five now. I was even shorter before I launched. You grew a little bit in space. You grew a whole inch. Right, so far I'm, I'm uh, uh, you know, I started out at just over five four, and now I'm just over five five. Well, it's it's good to hear that at least something can make you grow an inch, because I get emails promising that all the time, and I don't believe any of them. Now, one of your duties up there, sir, is to do crew Earth observation, which means you're supposed to photograph natural and human-made changes on Earth. Are, are you over in the United States right now? Actually, Stephen, it looks like we're just off the coast of Georgia. And uh, when, I think when we started speaking, we were a little bit uh, west of Chicago. So we're moving right along heading for uh, Brazil. Okay, uh, now, uh, can you see the colors of the states uh, change like John King at CNN with his big board? Oh, yes, when, you know, whenever there's a new primary, it's, it's great to look out the window and see the, uh, see the results. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Now, does the grand plan have to include a destination here? Is this all planning for our eventual leap to Mars? Yes, it is, uh, Stephen. Um, we, uh, we have uh, uh, on the drawing boards already, and we've already started working on our replacement for the space shuttle. And our new rocket is uh, going to be able to take us uh, first back to the moon within the next decade, and then uh, on to Mars. And that's ultimately uh, what we're all striving towards. Well, as you know, you're, you're supposed to give your wrist-drawn bracelet to someone more famous than you. So if you get to go under the spacewalk, well, would you just take it off and, and shoot it at God for me? Because I'd love to see him with that thing on his wrist. Yeah, maybe the, uh, the ultimate product place, but I'll, 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 uh, I'll see what I can see. No problem. Well, Mr. Reisman, thank you so much for joining us. That's pretty good. We've been summoning you for hours. It's family time. Yeah, so anyway, that was uh, Stephen Colbert and uh, I can choose how much I pay for the American the astronaut on the International Space Station. Uh, on his, uh, on his Stephen Colbert show last night. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Pretty funny stuff there. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the few shows I um, actually tape every day and watch. Been watching the um, Letterman show every day this week, but I don't really find it all that funny, quite frankly. But Stephen Colbert is routinely pretty funny. Pretty funny stuff. Yeah, they were together, uh, Conan O'Brien and him were together on the show because they didn't have any writers, so they were doing some stuff that, you know, they pulled together themselves. Yeah, in fact, when there wasn't any writers, it wasn't very good. You know, there was just, you know, it was like hit or miss. Some of the stuff was funny and some of it wasn't, so 